Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in our technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we're going to set up the HID signal reader onto a Paxton Net2 controller. In the signal reader, we're going to use a mobile enabled reader. So that means you can use your mobile phone or a wristwatch, your wrist tag, as a credential to open and unlock the door. Before you can use the um, mobile app, you need to create an account with HID in their portal in the Origo. So go to the Origo portal and either sign in, if you've been there before, or create an account. It can take up to a day sometimes for an account to be created, so do in advance. Once you've logged in, it takes you to the dashboard. Now from here, you've got a choice where you can go. You can either create new mobile credentials, or if it's the first time you're doing it, you can set up the device manager. In the device manager tag, you can. Um, this is where you would assign somebody who can use the device manager, the, the, the app, to set up the reader and configure the reader and also import the, um, the keys for the uh, mobile credentials. So log into the portal, either create an account or um, log in with usual details. And then at the bottom there, you can see you can add a new user. So I'll click on that and then it's the usual fields, username, the names and email address. Make sure you select the bottom option and that will allow this um, user of the mobile app, the ma manager app, it will allow them to add a key set to the reader that way enabling Bluetooth connectivity. Which is standard, the reader, even though the reader is mobile enabled or mobile ready, it doesn't have the key numbers in, the, the chipset numbers in there to say, yes, you are mobile ready, and here's the keys that you're gonna work with. So once we've finished with the um, enrollment of a technician, and they've received their email, they can set their app up with the um, invitation code they get. And if they browse into the reader, they'll be able to assign a chip key number, which we'll get to shortly. Once we've finished with the manager, we need to then start issuing some tokens. So back to the home page, and this time we're gonna to issue tokens. And this time we'll click on mobile identities. Now, if this is the first time you're setting this up, it asks you for um, a little bit of information, the site name, your name, the business name and things like that. Something that's really important is it asks you for a site code or a facility code. Make sure you issue the site code or the facility code you issue, you remember that code. It becomes very important later on in the configuration within Net2. You can, if you forget, you can work around it, but having a, a site code with token numbers is a lot easier to admin. And I'll show you that when we come to enroll tokens in there. So as you can see on this window here, my data window here, you can see I've set the facility code to 99, which happens to be the default site code within Net2. Now we need to add a new mobile user. It's fairly straightforward. Um, just go to users, click on add a new user. And from there, you can fill out the people's, uh, the person's um, just details, their name, the card, proposed card number, or the slot number within the system, uh, email address, and then press send. And that will send them uh, an email invite to, with a, an activation code. When they receive it, they click on the link in the email or they start their app, input the activation code. In the portal, you'll receive a notification they've received and activated their, um, their code. And then in within the portal here, you can assign them a token from your allotted amount of tokens that you've bought. Once that's done, press refresh and they're added, they're done. Then we can move on to the Net2 device and do some configuration here. What we're going to do is have a quick look at the wiring, how it's set up. You can see there the simple connections. Launch the Net2 server configuration utility. And all we have to do here is change the LED behavior. And we're just going to change it to um, LED to OEM style. Once you've done that, click apply. And that changes the way the LED um, operates. Instead of the pulsing flash, which you normally have with Net2, it'd be a constant light to show access granted. 
Okay, so here we are in Net2 Lite. Let's go to doors. Let's go to this one here. This is the, my test door. I've just added it in the in the standard way. Um, gave it its name door. What we have to do is change the reader type from the factory setting um, to, from none to Wigand. It's 26 bit, but if you remember, I said it's important you you have remember that site code because this is where it becomes useful to use that feature. Now, as you can see, the standard site code in that two is 99. You can change this number to any number you like, but I've done it to 99 for this example to show you how, how to do this. Uh, read the operating mode, we're going to have it token only. Uh, click apply, and that sends the information through to the controller. Now, let's go to users, and we're going to add a new user. We call that user um, Matthew. That's me. Um, department, I'm not going to set up access level. I've I've got quite a few set up, but in this instance, all I was all doors. And the token number for me will be one because that's what a site code does is it breaks it down. So it makes it easier to admin people and add that user. Now I'm going to add another user. Um, let's call this one Seth. Well, and all I was all doors, and his token number will be two. Oh, no, two. Add user. So now I've got two users added to my system. So if I um, if I get my phone, and here we are in the live event window. Um, I'll just try my phone. There you go. It comes through as a as a live event. So with that set up and configured, I just want to recover about the um, about site codes. I've already added um, users one and two. If I wanted to preempt and add maybe users one to 100, I could do that. So if I add a new user, now let's say it's Adam, and I put them in the right zone. Now, all I would have to do is create them as user three. And their token won't work on the system until it's enabled in the HID, HID um, Arigo portal. So he's on the system, his token's ready to go. It just needs enabling on the app. And there you go, the short setup of configuration with the HID um, mobile reader on Net2. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.